One of the foremost experts in Flying Eagle and Indian Sense is Rick Snow, owner of Eagle Eye Rare Coins in Tucson, Arizona. He's even written a popular book on the subject, which is available on his website, www.indiansent.com. At the recent Long Beach Expo, PCGS Price Guide editor Jaime Hernandez caught up with Rick and asked him about recent developments with his favorite coins. Rick emphasized that things were very much alive and well in the Flying Eagle and Indian Cent market. In this report, Rick discusses the fabulous Carnton collection, which he and Brian Wagner acquired for $1 million just a few weeks previously at the January 2010 Fun Show. Most of the collection was sold during fun, but there were still a few noteworthy coins left for Long Beach. Here Rick details the story of these beautiful and popular American coins. Enjoy! Hi, I'm Jaime Hernandez. I'm here at the Long Beach Show with Rick Snow. Rick, thank you for taking the time to talk to us today. Good to be here. Thanks. I know you just sold uh, a large Indian Sin collection. Can you tell us more about that collection? Yeah, it's the uh, Carnton collection. And this was a collection of uh, Indian cents and Flying Eagles. The Flying Eagle set was tied for number one in the registry. The Indian cent collection was number three in the set registry. And this collector bought them uh, from Eagle Eye Rare Coins uh, when I was partnered with Brian Wagner uh, in the mid to uh, late 1990s. And at that time, he had access uh, to some of the fabulous collections that, that we bought like the Alan Epstein collection, which was the all-time finest collection. Uh, there were a number of his coins in this collection and uh, a number of other uh, top collections. So this was a, uh, 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 he was um, forming a, a great set of uh, Indian scents. And they were all on eye appeal, not just uh, buying holders. All, all the coins were photo sealed and um, we uh, periodically went through and uh, judged them for quality and upgraded them throughout that time. And um, after uh, Brian and I uh, uh, dissolved the partnership, uh, he continued uh, selling some coins into this collection as well, and I did too. Uh, one of the main coins was a 77 Indian cent, which was a six red, which, um, uh, we sold it to him back in uh, 2001 for $45,000. And we just sold it uh, about an hour ago for $135,000. Yeah, and um, it, that's not a record. One sold last year uh, uh, at auction for $175,000. But uh, still, it's a pretty penny for a pretty penny. <laughs> but. Um, uh, and anyway, the, the coins mostly all sold. Uh, we, we bought the collection at Fun for a million dollars, and they mostly all sold uh, at the show. The 77, uh, the only reason it didn't sell was because a guy is from California wanted to see it here. And um, so it, it sold instantly. Uh, few coins are left. We have uh, one very rare coin here, 71 Indian cent, and this one's a five red. And there's only two sixes, so this is a very, very, uh, very few uh, get to this grade. And um, this is a very rare coin in uh, 71 and 5 red. Okay. Any other highlights in that sale besides the 1877? Was there any other? Well, the Flying Eagles were spectacular. The uh, 56 was a Mint State 65. The 58 over 7 was a, a 65, and it was an early die state, which is very important because you want to see the overdate. And all the other uh, uh, coins in the Flying Eagle set were 66s. And uh, so uh, there's, there was hardly any uh, opportunity to upgrade those coins further. And the uh, Mint, Mint State uh, Flying e uh, Indian cents were, um, there were a number of, of 67 reds. And uh, some of those, like um, there was 92, uh, they sold in the $40,000 range um, for the top pop ones, single pop ones. And, uh, Sounds so, good. Well, thanks yeah. for sharing that story. I mean, it's great to know that Indian cents are still realizing high prices. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, there's a lot of following with Indian cents. Right. Uh, and they're okay. pretty coins. Yes. So. Okay, thanks, Rick. Okay. Always a pleasure. All right. Thanks a lot.